So, you want to be a clean tech innovator and entrepreneur. Great, here are some factors to consider. First, is your invention clean tech? If it provides societal benefit while decreasing impact on the environment, then it is. But remember that an invention is not an innovation until it is used by someone somewhere. Next, can your invention become an innovation? To answer that, consider these three questions. First, who is the customer? Second, what problem is your innovation going to solve for that customer? And third, is that customer willing to pay? If you can't answer these questions, keep looking. Your innovation is a hammer looking for a nail, an invention without a problem to solve. Is cleantech entrepreneurship the same as entrepreneurship in other sectors? It turns out it is not. But why? One reason is that public policy and energy markets are constantly changing. Also, the cost of energy is unpredictable, making some customers wary of relying on today's economics. These conditions create uncertainty for both investors and potential customers. Also, some clean tech products involve manufacturing, which can take years to implement, test, and certify, making it harder to line up investors. Clean tech innovation and entrepreneurship also often involves multiple customers and stakeholders. For example, a home thermostat product involves not only the homeowner, but also the utility subsidizing the technology and the technician who recommends and installs it. So, what steps can you take to be a more successful clean tech innovator and entrepreneur? First, focus on initially scaling down, not scaling up. Identify that first customer, often from industry, who is willing to work with you on developing the technology. Two, diversify your team with policy and communication expertise. Clean tech teams need to be able to identify and develop policy opportunities and be proactive in responding to policy challenges. Teams also need to be able to speak the language of their customers and their stakeholders. Three, go beyond a lean canvas model. Add in public policy analysis, techno-economic analysis, systems analysis of customers and stakeholders, and uncertainty analysis. Four, pick your initial geographic focus with care. Clean tech policy and innovation ecosystems are very localized. What works well in one community or state or country may not work at all in another. Five, find financial resources beyond good venture capital. Cleantech may not be a good match for venture capital investment because of the need for patient capital. So consider government, social impact investors, and industry as sources of funding as well. In addition, because manufactured cleantech innovations take more time and money, your team will likely need to give up more ownership of your company than in other sectors. By taking these five steps, you'll be on your way to being a successful cleantech innovator and entrepreneur.